In this video, we're going to be comparing the range difference between the medieval Legolas and a traditional longbow by itself, shooting arrows and bolts of the same weight. Which one is going to shoot further? Greetings, I'm Shad, and in this video, we're going to be testing the range of the medieval Legolas as made by Todd's Workshop with a traditional longbow. And we are in a very special place. You see, in the last video where we were doing a speed test between traditional and the medieval Legolas, I mentioned we'd be coming out here to do the range test, and I'm on my new property, which I was originally thinking of naming Brooklyn. So there's been a couple of suggestions from that video, and I just want to mention here quickly. Uh, Brookdale, okay, yeah. Brooking. Uh, I thought Brooking wasn't bad. The Shadlands, like the Badlands, but they're the Shadlands. Shut up, you! You, they, you didn't hear anyone. They're not. I am. I am joined here by two guests, and I'll bring him in now. They are my brothers. Come on hey. in. Hey. So you probably know who this. This hey guys, this person is. It's Jazza. I'm the competent swordsman because I learned from last time we collaborated. You did. And Asher has returned. Oh, hang You're on. You're the competent bowman. No, guys. What are you wearing? Well, what are you wearing, Josh? This is Jazza. Hang, hang on. Hang on. I'm wearing merch. I thought you told me to wear so, merch. So. <laughs> 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 it's his matriculations. I'm representing the it's, it's not spelt right. But yeah, it is. Well, well, hey, I, I, it's exactly how it sounds. If we were in matriculations, <laughs> that's what it says. <laughs> it's not bad. It is. It but is. because we're outside, it's an amazing T-shirt. Thank you. <laughs> Available now. It <laughs> link in the description. I shot that. I will put the links. It's not that one, but a better one. <laughs> what? What's wrong with this one? That's Can weird. That's worth a lot of money now. Yeah. You guys. We'll sign it. Let me know in the comments if you want this version of the shirt, and uh, maybe you should make it available for a limited time. All right, but hang on. We're, we're outside. <laughs> when we're outside, we wear medieval gear. So, uh, we got we got that one for you. No, 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 no. no. Yes. I'm wearing my and and cape. I'll, I'll wear a cape. I'll wear a cape. Oh, that's not a cape. <laughs> this is a dress. No, it. Hang on. No, 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 it's a surcoat. That's a dress. It's a surcoat. That's a dress. It's the best of what medieval men wore in the medieval period. All right. Yeah. No, I've worn it in a video already. Cool. All right. Yeah. yeah. You're, rocking the medieval, you, you're rocking the medieval thing. So I don't know which one. We'll see. Maybe that one will fit you. Why does it feel like you're basically looking at this thing? <laughs> what do you mean? It has. Just a, it's yeah. a self made pool. It's a, it's a little it's a fresh. Moist. <laughs> <laughs> see? So you come, it, come back, what, come what's back. The, what's the belt for? What is this holding nah, up? You need the belt. You need the belt to yeah. frame. Come back so everyone can see your marvelous medieval outfits. I want to catch the wind. Yeah. <laughs> see, that looks that looks. You actually look like Link. Did you see? Of Zelda, yeah. Jet! Jet! I apologize for the wind because I can't do much about it, but uh, the audio should be bearable. When I was doing the video with Asha last time, uh, I was saying Brookland, and there was too much like Brooklyn. You see, that was my reaction. Like Brooklyn. Like Brooklyn. Like Brooklyn. Like Brooklyn. Brooklyn. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay. And so, but people saying Brookland is different enough to Brooklyn, and so you could, st or you could just do Brooklyn. You could, you could embrace it. I could embrace it. Yeah, and build a bridge. The Brooklyn Bridge. <laughs> hey, I love well, it. So, was that a joke in the last video, though? No. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that wind is almost knocking yeah, over the cuts. Like, give the wind like a second pass. Yeah, like, that's that's epic wind right there. Do you see you. my hair? It's like. Where's my medieval Just hat? Just see my hair? <laughs> <laughs> Brooksland. Okay. Brooksland. But someone actually said Shadwood Forest. Uh, I don't mind that. You don't mind that one? Yeah. There's, no forest. I don't, I don't, There's no forest. There's no forest. We need to play forest. I don't want to keep talking about or even thinking about Shadwood. So really, you had to go there. Kids, Where else you kids do? watch this? <laughs> do they? Do they? Do they? Ma, not not many. Okay, oh, go for it. <laughs> so yeah, there was Brooking, Brookdale, and there was one other that I can't remember. Brooksburg. I like Shad, Shad, the, what was it? Shadland. Shadland, like the Shadland. We are getting distracted, but that was just something, a follow up from the last video. In this one, we are going to be testing the range of uh, the medieval Legolas versus the longbow. And I need my brothers here to help me out because 
we got we got some long so this is actually a completely um, different area on my property that we're you've testing. You've invited us here to just run up and back and collect your arrows. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> also to do times to do, test differences, then that they're gonna have a go as well. Um, and also to hold the camera while we go up and collect arrows and check measurements and things like that. So the first thing we need to do, Jazza, you're out of you're out of camera. Come in, come in the camera. We need to set a baseline. And so I actually don't know how far my longbow is going to shoot. Well, actually, I don't know which angle is the optimal angle to hold the bow at to get range. And so that's the first test we need to test because I think there or there. So I'm going to test that, and uh, and then we can know the angle. Yeah, yeah. I really like billowing. Is it? Isn't it great? I like, can. I, have you ever worn this with the cape? I'm kind of a bit jealous, really. It's really fun. We can. I was going to say we could swap. I don't want to swap. <laughs> it's, your, it's all yours. <laughs> I like catching the breeze. Okay, so, point of reference. So this is 100 pound long bone. Jazza, do you want to try it? Give it a go. I don't because I tried once before off camera and it's really difficult and I couldn't do it. But I will because this is your channel and I'm being involved. Thank you, thank you. It's a great experience to just feel the power behind these things. We will give Jazza a go to shoot it, but right now she's gonna see it, have a go at drawing, do drawing you, the bike. Do you use the three, all three fingers? Yeah. Because when I last You can use two, I but I prefer three because it's less strain. Yeah. So I reckon, you, I reckon you'll be able to get it pretty far back. I reckon well, actually When, I, when I saw you do it, um, you it's like a whole body move. It is. It I was is. so surprised, because when I tried, I'm like, you know, you pull your arms. Nah. But it's, it's like a full, like, like, a, like yeah. a compound movement. Yeah. If you hold it high and pull down with both arms, you'll get a better draw. Okay. I like it. I like it when I can draw better. You should be able to draw this bow really well. I'm usually pretty good at drawing. He is. Some say. What? <laughs> that was, was that close? That was that's a bad, he got it almost really to the mouth. Yeah, right. Don't accidentally shoot it though. You have a devious look at it. good, give him, give him weaponry. <laughs> He's doing it on the outside, just like me. Do you prefer on the outside or inside? I've always just done outside. It's a bit natural, isn't it? Is it the way to do it? Personal preference. I prefer the outside because it's faster and I can draw back. Well, that, I think that's why, because it yeah. come in. Yeah. yeah. Right. You can do it. So don't don't over grip it because you don't want the uh, arrow to fall off. The Whoa, oh, that's pretty yeah. good. It fell off my hand, but I held it. Come right? up if you need to oh, keep it. Right? That was pretty good. Uh, <laughs> hold your thumb up. It'll keep the arrow on the shaft. It takes thumb up. Hang on, up. That's um, that's um, you're holding it upside down. <laughs> how can you, how Jazz can you just tell? pointed the bow at Asha, it's just like, ah! I don't see it. <laughs> Stop pointing! Is this a prank you <laughs> prank me? Hey, hey! How Take, can you tell it's upside down? Traditionally, the bottom limb is a bit thicker. Okay, oh. that's the first thing. And you, the arrow goes in the center of the bow, so therefore the hand rest needs to be off center, just underneath. And that's the arrow rest. When you say thumb up, do you mean this thumb? Yes. Okay. Because I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> You're probably going to have to change this video again. <laughs> to be like training to Mega News. <laughs> try, try to teach Mega News how to shoot. All right, I'm going to do... Oh, that really flicks you, doesn't it? Well, that's because you're shooting a lot. Not that's, bad. That's not bad. That's all right. So now we need to test the optimal angle, okay, for shooting. Now, again, sorry for the wind, but which angle will get us the most range? There's going to be a couple of things that will affect this. The weight of the arrow. I have heavier ones here, and then I have some mid-range lighter ones. Actually, ah, I got both. This is the mid-range, and this is the lighter one. So then also the side in which the uh, of the bow that I'm shooting on is going to affect this. So I'm going to do a couple of shots and I have elastic bands on the ends to tell me which arrows I've shot for which version of shooting. So I'm gonna stick with these ones. These ones are gonna give us the best range. The, uh, they're mid-range war arrows. These ones are a bit too heavy in my opinion. So I'm gonna grab those ones out. And then 
I'm gonna shoot like say two blue at a high angle, then probably two of the other color on a lower angle, and then two of another color on the other side, okay, at both angles as well. So it's gonna be four sets of two. So there's another thing that we're gonna have to try and address. And it's that I can pull this bow further back easier with the arrow on this side. I've tested it many times, it's just easy to do it that way. The range or the length in which I'm drawing this bow is absolutely gonna affect the distance in which it will shoot. So basically what I'm gonna try and do is when I'm shooting on the opposite, either side, I'm gonna be drawing back as far as I humanly can. And if I end up drawing it back further with the arrow on this side, it gets bonus range just for that. It could balance out with the arrows I have. I'm actually working on fixing this. There's more contact on the, on the bow shaft when I release, kind of slides along it. And that, is, that causes friction, which will reduce power. I'm actually commissioning a custom bow, in traditional English U, that should very much reduce that problem. And that means you're gonna get heaps more power with the arrow on this side, and it's gonna be made in a very historically authentic nutritional way. I'll have a full video dedicated on that. It's gonna be Did really you say authentic nutritional? Authentic traditional, Jazza. What's wrong? Why isn't it nutritious? Because you don't eat them, <laughs> you idiots. You don't? You're an absolute moron. This one is going to be high angle. I need to try and remember the angle in which I'm shooting at. And so about there, this is the first angle. Second angle is going to be more shallow. And this is with arrow on the right, I'm pulling back as far as I can. Oh, that actually hit my chest. We're going to try that again at the same angle because ah, I let it hit my chest. That was mine. So, but man, I really pulled that back. That was all the way back to the arrowhead. So we'll do that again. Any way I can follow it through my eyes. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I see what you mean. Now, the standard weight, uh, like range that bows were expected to achieve was around uh, 200 yards. That's about 180 meters. <laughs> Heavier bows, much heavier than this, will of course get longer. The thing is though, we're actually not testing maximum range. We're gonna be testing the, dis the difference between the range just of a traditional bow by itself and then the same bow on the instant legolas and what the average range is gonna be on that. Like I said, these tests at the moment is to test best angle. And so now uh, we're gonna do a, a more shallow angle and uh, I'll use the yellow arrows, this one, and pulling back as far as I can. No idea. We can actually disregard that one. Um, Asher handed me the wrong arrow. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> really? You're yeah. blaming me? Yeah. The wrong arrow. You're yeah. We can play the, ga the blame game all day, but someone has incorrectly shot two arrows. So, you know, I don't know who should take the blame, but if this one doesn't work out, I think. <laughs> that, was your first, that was your best shot, and you don't want to yeah, kick. It was lighter. These ones are way lighter than the other ones. And so you've messed up the scientific validity of this test by handing me a light. But don't worry, we can just ignore it. Can you okay? Are you gonna be okay? <laughs> I'll be okay. That one was actually too high angle. I need to make sure shallow angle this time. And uh, as far back as I can go. There it is. All right, that one actually about the same. Range, so interesting. On the inside, the traditional way. I'll be able to get it to full draw, but I don't think I'm going to be able to get it as far back as I was pulling it before. And I've got to do a different stance to even get the, the draw distance. I think everyone needs to soak this in. Look at that. It's like Peter Pan. <sighs> there was less contact with the bow shaft, but I couldn't draw it back as far. Um, and How? so it's ultimately coming in at around the same distance by the look of it. I'll do another one. Um, and I'll just go higher angle because that is the further one. It seems like we've already confirmed the higher angle, but let's see what the distance is from where I'm standing. 
starting right here. 102 meters, 117. That's interesting. I haven't gone as far as uh, the traditional longbows are supposed to shoot. You haven't shot them as far as traditional archers can shoot. <laughs> I'm just <kidding. laughs> It's a 100 pound bow, right? But look, all right. So it just, if you get those, those are the arrows that shot on the left side. Yeah, same distance. So left side, right side didn't really matter because the further distance I could draw back on the outside of the bow was balanced by the extra friction and we reached about 132 meters. You have to remember range is going to be affected by the draw weight of the bow and the weight of the arrows. It's still coming a bit short for me, both left side and right side. Um, I was hoping to at least get 105, well, I was hoping to get 180, which is the 200 yard mark. But if they're short, it doesn't matter because now we need to remember this, 132, okay? And that's left side, right side on a higher angle um, is the range that we got out of my 100 pound bow by itself. Now we will compare it with the instant Legolas at the same angle. The bow that I'm commissioning, that will also reduce the uh, friction on the, um, uh, with shooting a bow on the outside, it's gonna be 120 pound. And so there are ranges that people have shot war bows at that reach nearly 300 meters. So either they have a much higher power bow with lighter arrows, um, because remember, I also did it on the inside and I got about the same range. I wasn't filming. Do it again, do it again. I, I just threw them all and they all went in the ground. Right. It was really cool. Do it again. Do it so just the same. Oh! This guy, is there a video in that? Is, there, is that a thing? Is that something? Is that Actually, a so, they did have him in the ground when they were lined up, you know, like a formation to shoot. Is that, is that like the arrow, the arrow in the ground challenge? How many arrows can you throw to the ground that land upright? Go on. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> we're, we're a competitive family. Can you tell? All right. Come on. <laughs> he has a reputation for a reason. Being a data guy, I tried to capture some of your data, but uh, I felt like we didn't do a very good job of keeping track of anything. No, I didn't. If you want, I can capture what you're shooting and we can record it. It's up to you. Right, so I, I actually just want to shoot some of the lighter arrows to see how much further I can get with this. Full draw. What's the difference in weight? What have you been shooting and what are you shooting now? So these ones, I think they're around the 50 to 60 gram mark. And these ones, maybe 40, 30, 40 is a green. And uh, I'm just going for range on a lighter one. You go high. Higher angle. <laughs> Hit my arm though, but that looks like it's going terribly further. Actually, no, it landed around the same area. I didn't see where it landed. Um, try another one. This one is blue. It's not happening live. <laughs> One. I'm gonna try a more shallow angle. Um, red. Oh no, this is yellow. Yellow. Is yellow. It's very great. It's <laughs> the recording of this. This is true to science. This is how science is done, people. Yep. <laughs> there are no variables affecting our judgment here. <laughs> Ignore the wind. Oh, about yeah. the same distance. Yeah. And these are lighter. What colour you got? Heavier red. Alright, so now. All right, heaviest arrow we got. These are 70 gram. 70 gram 70, more arrow. So arrows. almost a kilo. See, that is heavy. Yeah, yeah, these are, these are serious ones. Look at, look at the right? Oh. <laughs> it's, a, it's a good face, it says everything. <laughs> <laughs> they're not as heavy as they come, but they're the heaviest we have. And what color? Red. This one is red. Does the red, co the color doesn't correlate to weight. No, we're just kind of picking them randomly, but trying to record what we're doing with what. So, science. Science. Right, oh, I can see that one. That, no, that didn't get. Uh, this one looks good. Um, this is a heavy yellow. All right. Oh, that's that's a good one. That's a good one. That's about the 
these are different weighted arrows and they shoot you at the same range. This is very odd. So just for a control, um, heavy on the outside of the bow. Sorry, no, inside now. As far back as I can draw. Do you know there's a running gag on my channel yeah. that I'm a kinesthetic learner, which means I don't necessarily know what I'm doing, but I figure it out by dicking around. Mm -hmm. I'm a bit like that with my, yeah. with my archery. I need to try I am it. getting the sense. Yeah. I'm getting a sense that you two are a kinesthetic <laughs> learner. <laughs> I don't actually like, well, in, in a lot of instances, I'm fine with people telling me, now nah, this is a better technique if they've got experience and things like that. But even when they tell me, I want to try it out for myself yeah. and experiment with different things. And if something else is working better for me, I go with the evidence. Oh gosh, I cannot get it as far back. Well, you've been working, this is essentially a big back workout you've been doing. I know. <laughs> Come on, one more rep, one more rep, one more rep. <laughs> Come on, push it, feel the burn. Oh. There was a lot of shaft contact with that one as well. <laughs> How much shaft contact did you say? There's enough friction to make it uncomfortable. <laughs> and I wonder if the penetration is going to- Stop! Oh, stop! <laughs> the, the power- No! <laughs> no! You guys wouldn't last a second on Matt Easton's channel. My audience knows the reference. You wouldn't last a second with Chad Sh oh, <laughs> No! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Are you using the same bow or you're not? This is the same bow. Oh yeah. So basically it turns it into a giant crossbow. Yeah. Essentially. There are distinct advantages over a crossbow. One of the drawbacks is that you need... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you, do need as, you do need as much strength or even more strength to draw this unless you have the loading assist, which is still... We don't know if the loading assist will work with medieval technology. Todd's still working on that. If we can get a working loading assist, that'll bring the viability of this as a proper authentic medieval weapon far greater, okay? Now, I also want to mention that Todd you're a, a, a madman, a genius, mate. This is such a beautiful device. Same with Jörg for inventing it. It is just incredible. Um, and so full credit to what Todd and Jörg have put together here. So now, range, let's do this. We have the standard bolt that we're gonna use. This one right here, okay? I weighed these. These weigh the same as the heavy war arrows. And we've already shot a couple of heavy war arrows down there. That's our control. And so we're going to compare the range of the heavy war arrows with these ones. They're the same weight. They're shot with the same bow, except this is the instant like this. So let's load this bad boy. All right. The legless is now attached to the 100 pounder. We did test if we're even able to draw this thing because it's actually harder to draw with uh, the instant legless attached. And I could do it, but it was difficult. So I'm just, I'm preparing myself because all I need is to draw it back and then shoot. But holding it further down, it's engaged. All right, ready? Shoot! Woo. Ooh, all right, we're gonna shoot a couple more. It was pretty close. Now, Honestly, I wasn't drawing it back as far because it's more difficult. You notice, I'm kind of reaching to get the handle and the handle is only about here, it's not flush. Um, I'm, I'm gonna need to do a full draw. If I can't do it, I might need Asher to help me pull it back. We'll do this one. Come on. Yes, that's full, that's full. Good one. That's about the same, right? Yeah. About the same. All right, last one. Aim higher. Has that reloaded on? Oh, that's so yeah, cool. Have you ever seen I did this? not even realize. This is it. Oh, like... that's so cool. Yeah, it's awesome. Ah, man. Sweet. Full draw. Higher, this, there, right there. Bad luck. <laughs> Whoa, that was. I feel like that was bigger. All right. Asha, I need the measuring wheel. You gotta present it, pre present it like a knight. Do you, do you want? Do you want to hold the wheel? <laughs> I shall hold the wheel. 
Why well, did you want to wear our side? Give it back. <laughs> <laughs> So hang on, first bolt, 98 meters, 98, all right, so now move forward. So that's the first bolt. We are reaching the first war arrows now. So the same, these are the same weight as the bolts. So the first bolt was 98, 98. but that wasn't a full draw. These war arrows, the average. These are the heavy ones. Yeah, heavy, 112 meters. So now, look at this, we have a bolt that has shot further than some of the war arrows. I actually wasn't expecting this. I was thinking that there would be greater friction with the um, instant Legolas, but there's no arrow on shaft friction. There's only friction <laughs> in the system itself. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Stop saying shaft! <laughs> Stop saying shaft friction. In the in the it's long uncomfortable. In the long <laughs> in the long polished rod, there is a. Wait, do, wait, do you want a cameraman or not? No, we got a we got another bolt that's even got further. That's a bolt. That's a bolt. That's a bolt. This bolt has shot further than two out of the three war arrows. There is one war arrow that's shot further than them all, which is that one right there. That means. The range of the um, instant Legolas, medieval instant Legolas and the traditional longbow, the same weighted longbow, is about equivalent. I was not expecting that. As I was saying, it might be a trade-off. The friction from the arrow hitting the shaft and release might be about equivalent to the friction that's in the system of the instant Legolas, which equates to about a similar range. I was actually thinking the instant Legolas would be shorter in range, but this is really, it's about equivalent. Can we, can we like slow it down? And epic music, please. <laughs> that actually looks wicked. All right. Um, you're, jealous, you're jealous of the billow. You wish your billow was like my billow. <laughs> we actually have lighter bolts. And because we did try and shoot lighter arrows to see what range we could get out of the traditional longbow, we need to shoot the lighter bolts now to see just how far this thing can shoot. Because I'm not sure, I, like, I don't usually shoot Light ones like this on my regular bow. We'll see what we'll see what happens. These are spare bolts that Todd sent me to replace any that got broken, and they don't have arrowheads, and so as a result, they're much lighter. Hang on, Asher, wait for us. We need to get that up. Phil, what are you doing? Whoa, that was way further than Shad's. Whoa, you were way better. Whoa, that was awesome. <laughs> yeah. yeah! yeah! Whoa! We're coming back. I'll get this bow off. He's getting a bit defensive. Don't worry, Shad. It's all right. They still love you. Where'd it go? Is it over the hill? That's amazing. <laughs> have you started, Have you thought about starting a, an archery YouTube channel? You no know worry. I, I didn't think I was good enough, but it turns out I am. So. Do you know you have? This is your second archery collab with Shad. You're right. You can start before like, this video comes out. You should start a YouTube channel called Archery with Asha. Yeah. <laughs> And just get a couple of thousand subscribers. Yeah. Oi, oi, Guys, oi. click, click the... Let's test their light. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, this is we'll science. Back We're to... back to business. All right, so this is lighter bolt. Let's see how far it shoots. Uh. All right, full draw and shooting. Uh. Ooh, that was okay. far. It might be further. Oh, it should be. I mean, it's lighter. Shoot a couple more, but... It, I'll it do one more. Looked like it. Ready and shoot. Alrighty. Well, we're gonna go and measure the lighter bolts. But in the meantime, I wanna take the uh, 100 pound off and we're gonna just do a range test between 100 pound and 70 pound uh, with Asher shooting. Because he thinks he can, he can out shoot. We'll, we'll see. So, how are you feeling about the big challenge? Are you feeling about your opponent? I'm not worried. Yeah. Not hurt. You did good already. You know you can. Yes. Yeah. You I know. This. I know. I can shoot an arrow. Can worried. you shoot it further though? That's the question. It's going the distance. I'm not going for speed. How are you feeling about this big challenge, Shad? I'm interested, actually, because honestly, the lot, the hundred pound isn't shooting as far. Yeah, he looks a bit intimidated. I'm going to be honest. I don't. Is that sweat? I don't know if I've well, seen him. 
been sweating this much before. I mean, you're, you're, you know, you know what it's like when he sweats, first hand. <laughs> what? Because he's wearing it. Because he's wearing the sweat. So we're gonna aim that way. That way. Yep. yep. Don't stand there, just. Yeah, you might. <laughs> I'm gonna shoot one on the outside and one on the inside for comparison. I'm gonna shoot. One on the inside and one on the inside. I say, I say, one arrow each. That's it. This is it. This is the decider. Wait, wait, one wait, arrow. Wait, 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 wait. You got one shot. Do not miss your chance with the bow. This opportunity two. comes. Spaghetti. That. Do you like spaghetti? Watch out with the. Right. Watch out. Yeah, no shit fiction okay. on the shaft, boys. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> ah. Can we just say, whoever does shoot the furthest is the is the best archer in the family. <laughs> we make that agreement right now. The title is on the line. If you, if you need a sequel to claim it back, if you yes. lose, hey. <laughs> one arrow each. Winner is the best archer. All right. Oh, 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 oh! That's that was you. No. <laughs> I actually couldn't see where yours went. I feel like that was you. I feel like it was a good shot. Guys, <laughs> go check out Archery with Asher. Link in the description. Yeah, what sort Asher. of content can they expect? Oh, look, uh, all things with um, shafts and, <laughs> and uh, the, the, the bows. Yeah, friction. The friction. It's probably too far, Shad. You, pro you probably need a telescope. If that is the case, can, what can, would be causing that? Well, there's skill involved. Uh, yeah, I was just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you, you look worried, though. Hang on, no. Is that your arrow? Yours is up there. Up on the top. I can't see. It's right up there. On top. Oh! <laughs> 150 meters, but let's keep going for a Keep going. Bit. This is, oh, guys. Are your legs meters. all right? Because that's a long walk. <laughs> 191. <laughs> 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 It doesn't make sense! So how would it make sense? Friction, release. Even on the inside, see that? I do get a lot of contact. Who's the best archer in the family, Chef? <laughs> if you want a fair and honest victory, Ashima, wouldn't, you, much. wouldn't you want me to shoot an arrow with the other bow? I think this is a sequel, Chef. That's your bow. I think this is a rematch. Bow. They're both my bows. <laughs> I just want to hear it once. You are the best archer in the family. <laughs> Sponsored by Shadow right. so, But to be fair, you, you can re, you can challenge the title. 120 pound bow is coming. <laughs> what do you think you're going to do against that? I don't think you're going to be able to draw it back. <laughs> I did. You, I did. I, you broke one of my... And that's what I bring to the table. Yes. You have no idea how true to form this is. <laughs> Jazza always breaks my stuff. I'm not kidding. Last video. He bent my sword! I'm, I was sent to you to teach you patience. <laughs> this is the uh, bolt, the lighter one, and it shot much further. Like, the other ones are maybe, what, 20 meters? We'll measure, right? Let's measure yeah. from here to the other bolts, because the other light one is just over here. The heavier bolt, 20 meters, the ice range. So lighter ones, of course, they will shoot further. That means if you do want extra range, and remember, that means these ones shoot further than the average kind of distance from traditional, traditional longbow. It's really nice to see the best archer in the Brooks family and Shad walking side by side. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen you look this salty in my life. Was, this is his thing, Asha. Worried. This is his thing. <laughs> it's your thing now, brother. Archer is in my blood. <laughs> I think he's really upset. Is he gonna be okay? I think so. Try. <laughs> That's not Shad, you're not a bad archer. You second best is you're still at least second you're, best. you're on the podium. You don't win silver. You lose gold. You just shot like 20 arrows. No, I was drawing that back. Oh, yeah? I didn't shoot it as high, but that was 190 meters. I didn't. Get I think I think a clean rematch. Arrow. I think that's a fair point. A clean rematch is called for. Sure. I did shoot high. Should we do the next one on your channel or? <laughs> yeah. Like and subscribe. <laughs> so we just measured it. 
The lighter bolt got 150 meters on the 100 pound. Now, we saw how uh, the 70 pound was shooting these in the speed test and they were flopping down. And so the 70 pound isn't even gonna match the range. Um, but we do have this anomaly, this mystery. I think you need to do a final shot on that one. Yeah, I need to just shoot this, see how far I get with 70 pounds. Because that is weird. Honestly, this should not shoot further than 100 pounds. You know, it's not just the bow though, Chef. It's how you use it. <laughs> it's how you work the well, shot. Are you just shooting that the fuck? I'm testing, I'll, I'll, yeah, I want to see if it is my technique. Or, um... <laughs> All right, go on. <laughs> you can shoot with my 100 pounds. Oh. If he shoots further than me on the 100 pound, I'm going to be... Yes. <laughs> what, you want to do it this time? I think this is turning into a different video. <laughs> this is brought back to your ear, Asha. I don't think I can. Stop stepping uh, on my arrows! I'm sorry. <laughs> don't lay him down where I'm walking! Do you want a competent cameraman or not? This is a freaking carpet at this point. Right. All back to your ear, Asha. I'm gonna try I'm trying. <laughs> Where did that go? <laughs> Why? Whoa! Oh, that's at the top of the hill again! <laughs> it's quite uh, far. <laughs> bastard. <laughs> Stop stepping on my arrows! Stop putting them under my feet! <laughs> You always beat me at aiming. Did you want to repeat that, Asha? You always... You always beat me at aiming. At aiming? Interesting. But distance might be my thing, Shep. Distance might... It might be technique. Let him have a thing. Let him... Let me have a thing, Shep. <laughs> Let me have a thing! <laughs> please, please, please. I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying so hard. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is like the, this is the, the biggest thing. This is the pinnacle. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing else has mattered happened now. <laughs> Your right. whole life has led yeah. to this moment. Yeah. <laughs> All right. That was really I good. See that? That was really good. That was really good. It's bit, it's That's the at the top of the. <laughs> That's about two hundred <laughs> meters again. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, no pressure, Shadow. <laughs> oh, that was really good too. No, but no, that's short. That's way short. It's shorter. Shorter. And look, that was on the inside, right? And um, it's just, it's hitting my knuckle and uh, I'm getting a lot more friction and wobble. Wait, 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 wait. What are our draw lengths? Your ape index. The difference in length between these two fingers, as is your height. So well, you, some people have longer arms than they have. Uh, uh, well, come bring it in, Asha. <laughs> Other way, Greg, this oh, isn't oh, COVID oh, approved, Shad. No, no, no. Back to back, back to back. Yeah, that's Jeez, good. Jesus, <laughs> <Asha. laughs> That was way too. You were... So, Han, you shift towards me, Shad. Do it. If I go there, stand straight. Okay, so you're, you're, he's an inch and a half longer. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you actually did I'm stuff. focusing really hard on filming really well for you. Bloody it. hell, Jazza! <laughs> That's one of my good arrows! Oh, if, if only you had a shot that one, Jack. <laughs> Maybe that... You never freaking change, man! Uh, you break all my crap! I've gotten everything on camera though, so. Oh, it's and... actually one of my good arrows! Not anymore. <laughs> That's good one, Jazza! That was his winning arrow! That would have gone way further! But no, I was drawing back to the, the arrowhead. I was drawing to the arrowhead. Yeah, I, I thought you limited because you can't pull yeah. it back further than that. That's about as far as I was pulling back, so no, it's not drawing. But for the record, I'm longer. What's the, what's the, is it, um, is it Occam's razor? What, no, what's the... The thing that is most likely is the thing that it probably... The <laughs> Occam's razor is the most likely solution. It is Occam's razor. Yeah, yeah. so Occam's Not razor. Law. If someone can shoot no, no, an he... arrow farther reliably, further, further uh, 
the most logical out conclusion might be. <laughs> Must be the best archer in the family. No! <laughs> <laughs> so just on the philosophy thing, if Occam's razor applies here, Murphy's law applies to Jazza every time. <laughs> Shed! So I'm just interjecting here because it's a couple of days later and I'm back here on the property doing archery just for the fun of it. And I've noticed something really odd about these bows and I just, it was just pertinent to the comparison of the range that I want to now just show you here. And the wind is going to be even worse now because I wasn't intending on filming anything. I'm just doing this on my phone and I'll fast forward everything in between so it will be quick. But I've got uh, four arrows. I'm going to shoot two with a 70 pound bow and two with a 100 pound bow and check out the difference. And I'm going to be shooting one on either side so we get a fair comparison. And two are marked yellow, two are marked blue. So the yellow are going to be on the 70 pound, the blue are going to be on the 100 pound. And uh, check this out. I shot furthest with a 70 pound bow. I've weighed these bows, right? And the 100 pound is legitimately 100 pounds. Yet the 70 pound bow shot furthest. <laughs> now, clearly already, like, uh, uh, Asher has a cleaner release and he can get further than me, right? Um, but you would think, you would assume that the heavier bow will shoot further but nah I mean what is going on there right and what's interesting the range was equivalent between the side of the bow that I was shooting from so that's the a nod thing and uh, whatever I'm doing with my technique that's causing me to shoot short of what Asher is reaching I'm replicating that between both boats so What's, what's really weird about this, right, is that, <laughs> one, I wasn't doing something so horribly wrong that I was sapping huge amounts of power out of a 100 pound bow to be beaten by a 70 pound one, when I've just legitimately beaten the range of my 100 pound bow with my 70 pound one, even with a technique that isn't as clean as Ashes. That one there, Bottom left corner, all right, just so you can see. Yellow arrow, okay. One of the yellow arrows ah, from the 70 pound and a shot further than the 100 pound. So I've only had one thought that's come to me that might explain this and it could be wrong, but uh, let me know what you think. And I, I'm wondering because these bows are actually made out of different woods. This one is a uh, hickory. And this one, I actually don't know what the backing is. I'd have to look on the order of it. But if the 70 pound bow is releasing its energy, it is, it's not as heavy to pull back. I've weighed them, okay? And you feel there's a massive difference between these two bows, right? You can really feel it. But if the, um, the 70 pound bow releases its energy more efficiently and quicker, like so it accelerates the string quicker just because um, again, it can release the energy faster. It could accelerate the arrows almost to an equivalent power to their 100 pound bow if it releases its energy slower. It still stores more energy, but because it releases it slower, the acceleration of the string, therefore, would uh, only reach about a equivalent, you know, rate when it goes tight. What do you think? It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a mystery. So that was a lot of fun and a little bit infuriating and embarrassing. But we did learn <laughs> some interesting things. <laughs> One, I'm not the best archer in the family. <laughs> yes! Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> well, if we make a bet, I hold to it. But the other thing is that like, what is more important is that we did set an interesting, uh, we did discover some interesting things that um, for me at least, the instant Legolas shot the same distance, but if my range is being affected by my release, uh, Asha was able to shoot at least 190 meters. We measure, because he also shot with the, with the war bow, um, and that 
how did we have it? We haven't even met. It looks about 190 meters. So if you don't shoot the way I shoot, and remember, I got the same range in inside and outside, so it's not that. You need to take away variables. You need to find like a massive indoor space. Something like that. Um, it, so what did we learn from this? Not much. <laughs> Um, talk about the Hissel Legolas. Because the Hissel Legolas' range was similar to my own range with the normal longbow. But as we found out with my brother Asher, is that uh, I'm getting a lot more friction inside and outside, which is reducing the range that I shoot. And so, I have to, I have to work on that, Because <laughs> traditional warbow can shoot longer, but you didn't shoot, did you? Oh, wait, wait, Asher, pick up the warbow and shoot a heavy arrow. The arrows are scattered because of the wind. That, that's what did it. It's just the wind. I just want to see how far this shoots because this yeah, Asha hasn't shot an arrow that um, is the same weight as the box we were shooting in. All the way back to your ear. That was too high. Yeah. Because that's about the same. That that's was the way I was shooting the other one. Really? Shoot, a, shoot another one at a lower angle. Very hard to shoot. Oh, what? You're having trouble pulling back the 100 pound bow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hurry up and shoot that arrow. Go, go and shoot that arrow. Go, 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 go and shoot at a, at a, lower, at a lower angle. He's not, he's not going to let this go. <laughs> It's actually for size. I do want to see if an uh, arrow of the same weight will shoot further than the instant legolas with the bolts of the same weight. Because if Asha is having a cleaner release, um, uh, ah, that was still too high. Do another one. And put your back into it. Hurry up. It's really hard to shoot. Oh, yeah, Mr. Best Arch in the family. This is basically every family gathering ever. Yep. Why, why, why am I aiming there? To see if you shoot. So only about that. You're going like there. Only okay. about there. Okay. That's actually about as far as I was shooting with those heavy arrows. We're hitting the same mark. And so I need to redo what I was saying before. The um, instant legolas with the bolts shoots about the same average distance as the 100 pound bow with similar weighted arrows. That's the, that's the conclusion. So the instant legolas doesn't have a unique disadvantage with range. That's what we're finding. What do you think? Yeah, I, I agree. Yep. <laughs> I learned a lot today. <laughs> didn't, didn't we? Coming out, Jazza. We, we josh around. We, we have a, a, do you know what I want to see? I want to see a rematch. I want to see, uh, I want to see how many variables can be removed. And plus it's really fun to watch. <laughs> I have a 120 pound bow cup. I'd subscribe to see that. Oh, oh hi. Um, but thank you for coming, guys. Thanks for having us. I wish I fun. never invited you. Yeah. <laughs> and Jazza, you owe me three arrows. I filmed your bloody video. He did. He I did. filmed your bloody video. That would at least have cost you three arrows yeah. worth of filming. Three arrows of filming. <laughs> at least. You probably owe him an arrow. You probably, I, I, in fact. All right, Jazza, take this bolt and shove it right up your ass. <laughs> oh, come on. Are you actually giving this to me? This no. is really cool. I really want it. No. You gave it to me. Don't take your backsies. That's that's a Todd's Workshop box. Give it back. So that's special edition of it. I'll it? give you one of my other ones. You can have the broken ones. Can I ask a question? Yeah. What is the, what, the thing on your t-shirt? I don't know what that means. Matriculation. Matriculation. What is a matriculation? How dare you? <laughs> Get off. You're banished. Ugh. Maybe you should share your learning experience ah, you know my castle? archery with archery. You know my castle? Yeah. And you know the battlements at the top? Yeah. How they're offset from the wall and yeah. there's holes yeah. between them? Those are matriculations. Yeah, because everyone knows that. They should if they're on my How damn channel. How did you know that? Because he... Did you look it up? Or he educated no, you? No, I've just heard him shout it like a lunatic. <laughs> matriculations! It's a meme. It's a meme. Okay. Good meme.
<laughs> I found like random Reddit posts where people have mentioned you, and the next comment under it is mascuculations in capital. Really? Yeah, you're you're off camera. Oh yeah, no, I thought we were finished. Oh, so, we thought... need to stop. So, in all seriousness, thank you guys for watching, and thank you to my brothers for coming to join me. Thanks it for was us. a lot of fun. We, uh, we get ten seconds each to plug our channel. Go, go. We'll start. Go to Jazza for more Jazza. And and uh, go to what's my Ashtray channel? With Asha. Ashtray with Asha. <laughs> like and subscribe. Please like and subscribe. <laughs> Hope to see you in the next video. Can I change my plug to Archery with Asha? Go, 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 go. Go subscribe to Archery with Asha for more Archery with Asha. Thank you guys for watching. Hope to see you in the next video. And until that time, farewell. Farewell.